As the number of people getting vaccinated to fight against COVID-19 across the world increases, and target benchmarks being achieved for vaccinations, governments across the world have started to ease the travel restrictions, thus allowing cruise lines to plan restarts in various phases in 2021. Let us look at the latest plans from a number of regional, smaller, luxury or niche brands which have started and are looking to start operations by May, June and July 2021. But before we jump right into the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video to stay updated with the latest news from the cruise industry and much more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. American Cruise Lines American Cruise Lines is back in action in the United States. The small ship cruise line resumed service on March 13th becoming the first company to offer domestic cruising. Since the pandemic started, with reduced capacity and following industry standard health and safety protocols. The 1-1 for passenger independence is currently sailing an eight-day historic South and Golden Isles itinerary, a second vessel. The 190 Guest American Jazz will be added into service later this month. The new river boat will cruise in the Mississippi from today, March 21st. P and O Cruises, the first sailing scheduled is on June 27, on board the Britannia cruise ship, offering cruises in United Kingdom. P and O Cruises will relaunch service in June, with domestic cruises in the United Kingdom. Two ships are set to offer a series of short breaks and week-long cruises sailing around the UK coast. Sailing, sailing from Southampton, the trips will be exclusive to fully vaccinated UK guests. Aurora Expeditions, the first sailing scheduled is on June 1st, on board the Greg Mortimer. Offering cruises in Australia, Aurora Expeditions recently replaced its ARC 2021 season with a full Australia program. The Australia-based cruise line plans to start the domestic operation on June 1st. The company's only ship, Greg Mortimer will offer voyages around Australia, Commonwealth Bay, and Ross Sea East Antarctica. Destinations include Tasmania, Kangaroo Island, the Kimberley, the Coral Coast, Southwest Edge, Mingaloo Reef, and more. Sea Cloud Sea Cloud Cruises now plans to resume service on May 7 on that date. The Sea Cloud will sail from Pyroes on a Greek island's itinerary, the new Sea Cloud Spirit. Meanwhile, now has its inaugural cruise scheduled for June 2nd in the Mediterranean. Celestial Cruises Celestial Cruises recently announced that it will resume service on May 29th from Pyroes, Greece. The company is planning to commence operations with the Celestial Crystal, sailing. The idyllic Aegean itinerary, the 2021 deployment of the remaining of the fleet will be announced in due course. P and O Australia P&O Cruises Australia is currently targeting a June restart. The brand's first cruise is scheduled to June 19, with the new Pacific Encounter sailing from Brisbane on a February statement. The company said to be maintaining its optimism for the ultimate restart of cruising while, in the meantime, again taking a practical approach and extending its current operational pause to departures on or before June 18, 2021. Viking Cruises, another cruise line planning an operation resumption in the United Kingdom. Viking Cruises will launch service from Portsmouth on May 29. The luxury cruise line will offer new 8-day ocean sailings on the Viking Venus, its newest vessel. Scenic Cruises, Scenic Cruises has recently announced that it will operate a domestic season in Australia, with cruises in the Kimberley region starting on June 5th, the luxury brand will offer to 11. The itineraries between Darwin and Broome, the last sailing is currently scheduled to August 8th. Fred Olsen Cruise Linnaeus Other local cruise lines, Fred. 
Olsen recently announced plans to sail domestic itineraries around the British Islands this summer. The Borealis will be the first ship to resume service, sailing a three-night maiden voyage from Liverpool on July 5. The Bolet follows a month later, with the three-night maiden voyage from Dover on August 16. And with that, we wrap up our cruise news updates for March 21st. If you enjoyed this cruise news update, a subscribe and like would really be appreciated. I shall see you soon. Until then, please take care and stay safe.